So, that points to something really unusual happening in the early universe in terms of early star and galaxy formation. If that's the case, does it mean a major rewrite? Yes, we think so, but we'll see. Could we be wrong? Get ready to be excited because a big change is on the horizon in the field of astronomy. We're living in a fascinating era for astronomy. Over the past few months, our 100-year-old astronomical theories have faced numerous challenges. However, what the James Webb Space Telescope recently discovered in the early universe has astonished astronomers worldwide. Scientists are saying that this discovery could lead to a fundamental shift in our understanding of the universe. But why are scientists suddenly questioning our century-old theories? What has the Webb Telescope found that could change everything we know? Well, this week, some of the world's leading cosmologists are gathering at the Royal Society in London to address the question, what if our fundamental assumptions about the universe are wrong? This meeting comes after several high-profile astronomical observations have challenged the conventional view. According to Professor Subir Sarkar, a cosmologist at the University of Oxford and co-organizer of the meeting, we in cosmology are using a model that was first formulated in 1922. We have great data, but the theoretical basis is past its cell by date. More and more respected astronomers are saying the same thing. What Sarkar means is that if you zoom out on the universe, far beyond the level of planets, stars, or galaxies, you'd see a vast, patchy expanse with no significant features. The universe would appear uniform wherever you look, with the distribution of matter seemingly the same everywhere. This assumption has been a fundamental pillar of the standard model of cosmology. The principle that the universe looks the same everywhere is essential to current cosmological models. For instance, the standard cosmological model states that dark matter played a crucial role in forming the first stars and galaxies right after the Big Bang. This model assumes that the distribution of dark matter across the universe after the Big Bang was uniform, meaning its density was the same everywhere. This theory explains why the cosmic microwave background radiation has a uniform distribution of matter. But in recent months, scientists have uncovered unexpected findings that suggest the universe might not be the same in all directions. Here's the first observation that raises questions about this assumption. Recently, the Webb Telescope made some surprising discoveries. All these tiny dots are galaxies, some even larger than our own. Scientists observed that the universe might not be as symmetrical as we once thought. When scientists examined a vast dataset of over a million super bright galactic cores, called quasars, they noticed something strange. One side of the sky appeared to have about 0.5% more quasars than the other. Imagine it like one side of a cake having more frosting than the other. In addition, Alexia Lopez, a PhD student at the University of Central Lancashire, discovered cosmic megastructures named the Big Ring and the Giant Arc. These shapes, formed by galaxies and galaxy clusters, exist on a scale at which the universe should appear smooth and featureless. Lopez remarked that finding structures exceeding this scale challenges a fundamental assumption in cosmology possibly warranting a more critical analysis of our standard model. The discovery of such massive structures indicates that the universe isn't uniform, the distribution of matter varies across different regions, with some areas being far denser than others. Now, let's consider another unexpected finding in physical cosmology and astronomy, dark energy. This mysterious form of energy affects the universe on the largest scales, driving its accelerated expansion. According to the standard model, dark energy is the universe's dominant component, accounting for 68% of its total energy. This model assumes dark energy is uniformly distributed across space. Consequently, the universe's expansion should be consistent everywhere. Over the years, astronomers have employed various methods to measure the exact rate of expansion, but surprisingly, each method yields different results. It's as if the universe expands differently based on the observations. Initially, some scientists suspected this could be due to measurement error. 
Recently, however, Adam Rees, a professor of physics and astronomy at Johns Hopkins University, stated, We've now covered the full range of Hubble's observations and can rule out measurement error as the cause of the Hubble tension with high confidence. Additionally, new James Webb telescope images confirm that the previous measurements were accurate, and the universe expands at varying rates in different regions. This discrepancy in the universe's expansion rate suggests it might not be uniform after all. Recent discoveries indicate that the distribution of dark matter and dark energy across the cosmos is not as evenly spread as once believed. This new understanding challenges the century-old belief in a homogeneous and uniform universe. Understanding the true nature of dark matter and the cosmological constant remains one of modern cosmology's most significant challenges. These discoveries have posed a serious threat to our foundational theories about the universe. Scientists are working tirelessly to gather more evidence and refine our understanding of these fundamental aspects. Amidst these challenges, a recent breakthrough has emerged. A team of astronomers announced a groundbreaking discovery about the nature of dark energy, which they believe could resolve this cosmological crisis. The Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, DACI, Collaboration recently released a section of the largest 3D map of the universe ever made, analyzing data on the large scale clustering of 6.4 million galaxies and quasars across a third of the sky, reaching back to 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. This new map hints at the possibility that dark energy is evolving, suggesting that if this is true, it could transform cosmology as we know it. If theorists can find a natural way to explain this, they may eventually claim that they knew it all along. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share your thoughts about this cosmological crisis. Thanks for watching.